Hey guys and welcome to a therapist task guide healthcare privacy part 5. For this task you're going to need to locate the drop spot on factory at night and then you're going to need to obtain three packs of gunpowder which is the blue one the kite one and then stash them in the spot in factory. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. For this task you are going to need to get yourself three of the gunpowder kite. Now they do spawn out and about in the world and I would actually explain where they spawn but I'll be honest with you they are so cheap on the flea market only going for around about 70k it's not really worth farming them. You can actually craft them in the hideout if we was to head over to the hideout. If we scroll down just a little bit it is 70 of the PS bullets will craft into one of the gunpowder kites. But I'm going to head over to factory and show you where you got to place them. Also when actually loading into factory you do need to go to factory nighttime which is 0300. You cannot do this during the day. Now I would actually recommend you take yourself some night vision or a gun with a flashlight because you do need to see some sort of way in the dark. So here we are inside nighttime factory. Now most likely I should have done this during the day but whatever. Right here in the center is the offices. Over there is the catwalk. As you can see that's the 1986. The medical tent is off in the distance and that's where basically Tegilla likes to roam and that's the staircase going up to the third floor. What we're going to want to do is go all the way up to the third floor just like so. And then once we're up here, we're going to turn left like we're going down the corridor. Both of these rooms actually open up to the office and this isn't where we're going to need to go. What we're going to want to do is go into this room right here, which is the third one. And you do need to actually breach the door. What I would recommend that you do once you do come inside here is close the door behind you. You do need to place all three of them in here as well as keep yourself safe. So if you close that door, scavs do wander up and down that hallway. So you do want to be a bit safe. There's a few spots you can sit in here. Behind here is a pretty good spot because your gun does just peek out over the top normally. So it's a nice easy kill if someone does open up the door. Because when you're planting them, you can face this direction and plant them. Another great spot in my opinion is this one up here. People normally actually look for people down here and behind the door. So right here is a good spot because you can also shoot through this door just here too. So you want to, you know, keep yourself away from that door as well as that door here. But... Of course it's a small room there's only so many places you can go i'd also recommend you turning off your flashlight too because you know being dark would mean that people might not actually think you're in here which is another great thing too bear in mind when you are actually placing the items they do go for 30 seconds so if you plant it for 30 seconds and then open up your inventory and then close it again and then plant again for another 30 seconds it does just refresh the planting meter if you do need help for this you can always head over to our discord discord.gg slash piranha and we do have a decent helpline as well as a looking for group section if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to piranha.tv slash discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy, and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.